RJ and I are making fudge for the first time with you. Hey. Firstborn. Awesome. How's it going? Good, Good. we're, we're making starting. our fudge. Simple fudge. You guys, we don't know if this is what it's supposed to look it's like. So making fudge for the first time with you. And we're gonna make maybe like three different kinds. We're gonna make mama bears for tradition. We're gonna make an easy one we found on the internet. And then we're gonna make Aunt Sharon's, which includes peanut butter. And we wanted to talk about our aprons before we get started. Who knows where this one came from, but it's super cute and festive with little Christmas trees. This is the special one my mom made probably in the 70s. It used to be hers. There's bit tatter schools, but she used to make my clothes and I just, oh, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I feel better, better, no, I feel sentimental wearing this, making me fudge. So we have mom's apron and then we have mama bear's fudge recipe. So it's very grandma, mom friendly. Last, last night we went to the 99 cent store and we got these tens. It was actually the Dollar Tree and some of these little um, cute things to put the fudge in. We're doing this for our neighbors. And just look at all of this crazy sweet ingredients we picked up as well. For other things we're gonna do, we're gonna do more than fudge. All the ingredients you need for this simple fudge is three cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips, half of a cube of butter, and then a can of sweetened condensed milk. And we are gonna watch RJ do the magic. Let's go. I'm gonna direct RJ on what's gonna happen here and we're gonna make this work. But before we start, RJ, it says to take an eight by eight over here, line it with foil, and then give it a little spray with this coconut oil here. There's a hole in it. Hmm, that's because I got it at the dollar store. But that's okay. Yeah, line that up. Oh, and if you hear some crazy car sounds, we have a lot of, uh, you know, the brothers and their friends doing car stuff in the yard. That's great. That is probably more, more than enough. <laughs> oil in there and then give it a little spray down oh, yeah. okay here we go and this is what's going on out in the in the yard with all the boys and their cars and stuff just so you get a little glimpse of that oh there goes another car gti gang G <laughs> the gti gang oh they're leaving they're peeling out Okay, we're gonna get started. All you have to do, RJ, is open the can of sweetened condensed milk. Go ahead and pour the chocolate chips in, the three cups of chocolate chips. Yes. And throw the butter in there. And throw the sweetened condensed milk in there. Oh boy. That's how it's looking. <laughs> Look at, we have a special guest appearance. Firstborn. How's it going? Good, Good. We're, we're making our fudge. And you're gonna wanna constantly stir it with a wooden spoon until it is the consistency of frosting. All right, RJ's just keeping the stir going. Yeah, I know we're gonna be making so many fudges, we're gonna be able to do like a little, little taste test. It's looking good, huh? Delicious. Now we're gonna pour it into the eight by eight foil lined with a bit of spray. Look at that. This if this is good, this is the easiest fudge in the universe. Like three ingredients and maybe like less than ten minutes on the stove top. That is unbelievable. Fudge was like so easy to make. Well, this one in particular is. Okay, wow. 
Then you let it chill for a few hours in the fridge. And this is the first batch of simple fudge. Simple fudge. We're making the diamond fudge, which is Aunt Sharon's specialty. And it includes four ingredients a cup of peanut butter, a stick of butter, half of a bag of the regular sized chocolate chips, and a cup of powdered sugar. That's what's gonna make this batch. Based on the experience from the first batch, we are yeah. going to sort of get the butter melty first. I'm gonna add the chocolate. Some semi-sweet. Half a bag of the 11.5 ounces. Oh yeah, this is working better, don't you think? Yeah, this is a better technique. We're learning as we go. A cup of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I just love peanut butter and chocolate together. It's like a good combo. This looks real good. Do you want to get it? Can I see it inside the pot? Beautiful mixture now. Um, Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. You guys from Minnesota? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Really incorporate that. Show everybody what that looks like. Oh. I wonder what's up with the powdered sugar part. Like, is that this like makes it more sweet? Oh boy, it's already really sweet. Okay. And Sharon's recipe has you butter a pan instead of putting foil or any other kind of thing in there. So that's interesting. Yeah, it's going to be very better, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> You can smell the peanut butter. It looks like frosting. Okay, one year for Christmas, Mama Bear made us all a binder cookbook. This is little me on here. It says Tracy's cookbook. And we're doing the famous fudge for fudge. Let's go. I'm gonna start with the butter. And it was only a half of a cube. And when she was over earlier, she said she puts a little, a slight more than a half, I think, but not a whole. So we're melting the butter. We're learning that's the best way to go. And then the way this recipe goes, you add the sugar and the evaporated milk, which I already measured out, which is not a whole can of evaporated milk. It's three fourths cup right there. Those are the ingredients. I like the vanilla in this one. Yeah, and I'm putting that. the bourbon vanilla. Yeah, yeah. Um. so. Chips these are the ones you liked best. These are the not semi sweet. These are just called dark chocolate chocolate chips. They just felt more. Yeah, it's, maybe this is gonna be really spectacular. I'm most excited about this one. Yeah, I I'm a marshmallow lover, and I think the marshmallows melted in there is gonna mm. give it a whole new yummy whole new level. Yes. I can't remember like the last time I had this from her. Probably last Christmas. Yeah. Now we're gonna add a cup and. a a one full cup of sugar and another half cup of sugar. And this is the granulated sugar, not powdered sugar. And then get that stirred around and then, but we're probably doing it kind of wrong. Yeah. I don't know because she does it all at once. She does all these three ingredients at once. Oh, okay. Well, this one too? Yeah. But we were just kind of melting the butter down. So maybe it's still going to be okay. All right, I'm cranking up the heat because what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna bring this mixture of three ingredients to a boil. Once it gets to a rolling boil, I think I've said that like about 20 times now, <laughs> uh, that you, then we will turn down the heat and set the timer for five minutes. Stir, stir, stir for five minutes, take off the heat and add the rest of the ingredients, so. Don't bug me, I'm cooking. <laughs> She's switching out her aprons. We're waiting for that rolling, rolling boil. Is this, is this a rolling boil? Why does it look like this? I don't know. It's changing colors. And is that a rolling boil? 
like a rolling boil is like brrr. Here it's coming. It's coming. You want to turn it on? It's on. We're taking it off the heat. Here you keep stirring as as it goes off the heat. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna pour this in. And and I know it's gonna get hard. But oh yeah. But just keep going and then I'll take over. I gotta get the vanilla in. We're doing a half teaspoon of vanilla. Yeah, just keep going. Okay, watch out. Watch out. Whoa! Just a little more than half. Whoa! Put <laughs> salt. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Arm workout. <laughs> I need you to step in. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna step in. Step it in. <laughs> step in. Oh my. Oh gosh. Come on, let's get this going. Guys, we don't know if this is what it's supposed to look this like. It, I, we don't. This is not a good scene. <laughs> oh, Why does Mimi. It look like sand? Oh gosh, it looks like that sand you sculpt and make oh, things. Oh gosh. But maybe, what if this is like? Completely, yeah, maybe you just. Yeah, what if this is completely down? correct? No, this doesn't just... look right. <laughs> this does not look right. Oh gosh. Fudge, everybody. Okay, this we leave this one to Mimi. This is Mimi's specialty forever and ever. Amen. Mimi came over to rescue me. She's camera shy. So she's going to go get her scale. But we're doing this again. First mistake I made, I used the wrong kind of milk. You're supposed to use uh, not sweet and condensed, but evaporated milk. That's mistake number one I made. Yes, this is what, this is more like it. <laughs> yes. Oh, it looks beautiful. There we go. I forgot to talk about the fail, the last fudge, which was the heirloom fudge, which was supposed to be the best fudge we made. I made a big, epic mistake. I used sweetened condensed milk, even though I said the right ingredient, which was evaporated milk. I used sweetened condensed and made it really took forever to boil, get that rolling boil, and it looked like sand, and it was a disaster. And I was texting Mama Bear, like, what's going on? And then the next thing I know, she shows up at my door with Papa Bear, and they have all the ingredients with them, and she said, let's try this again. She was a little camera shy, so I didn't really film that part, but we got it right. She just, it was literally the milk. Had I used the right milk, I think I would've got it down, but we got them all done the other day and let them chill in the fridge. And yesterday we had a celebration of life to go to, so we couldn't pick up where we left off. But today I have the whole day to cut up the fudge for our neighbors and to finish my holiday baking. And I just wanted to show you, this is our peanut butter chocolate fudge from Aunt Sharon. This is the three ingredient, super easy fudge that little RJ threw marshmallows on top when I wasn't looking, and this is the best of the best. The, what I am now calling Mama Bear Magic Fudge. It was her, it was Nana's fudge, then it was Mama Bear's, eventually someday it might be mine. And I'm gonna cut these in these little sweet squares. And I got these little doilies also at the dollar store, and I'm just gonna stick them in there. We're gonna fill the tins with all the three different fudges. I'm gonna make snickerdoodles today to kind of fill the space in here. Pass these out to our neighbors and that's gonna be their little homemade Christmas gift from us this year. And until next time, I think that's all I have to say about the fudge. I have work to do, but until next time, peace, love, and keep going.